Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Welcome back, my name's Rowan Wintersong, and we're going to continue on from where we left off, as per usual. Alright, we entered a new land. This is the, uh, no longer the Nora Territory, we're now in the Karja Territory. Since we passed this gate at Day Tower over here. But, we are going to go back over here and mop up some of this area. I think there's a quest. Yeah, there's a quest over in this area that we were at before. Um, I don't think we actually made it to this town. Uh, Hunter's Gathering. But we made it close enough to activate a campfire. So, let's go to the nearest one and fast travel. Just so if you're wondering why I picked that campfire rather than the uh, one directly in the town, just in case there's some event that triggers when you enter the town, I don't want to mess it up. So I don't think there is, but you never know. All right, so we're gonna travel. Uh, out of way. All right, here we go. I just came out of nowhere. I guess that's what I get. I guess that's what I get for not uh, checking. Come on over here, buddy. Like I've uh, pretty much figured out those guys. Even the scrappers. Scrappers used to scare the crap out of me. Now I seem to take them out pretty easily. One, maybe two shots. I double arrow and I shoot basically either one of the things on its back. Um, there's the radar, I think, is the one that's on the top. And then there's the one that's on its butt, which is um, a power cell, I think. If I had shock arrows, which I don't, but if I did have shock arrows, it would actually stun them. Look at me, I'm like a like a like a witcher in this game. <laughs> Alright, so here goes that quest lady up there. Little Spark. Name's Jira. I run this fine watering hole. I like what you've done with the place. Something troubling you, Jira? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kander. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. <laughs> Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark. If I'm out that way, I'll look for him, but... Do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels. Old acquaintance. 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 Jeez, words are hard today, apparently. Seeks news about her husband who went missing on his way to Hunter's Gathering. So, it's gotta be nearby. Go to go to the bridge near Glare Break where Kendert was last seen. All right, let's see. That's not it. 
showing that. That's not nearby. That's way the hell up there. Okay. I guess... I guess what this means... After we go get this Banuke figure up here... I guess we're going to continue on with our quest. Because if you look at this, the main quest... Is only level 12. While the rest of these are higher level. So, on the timeline... These are all going to be after... The main quest to the City of the Sun. So, we're going to go get that Banuk figure real quick first. And then we're... Is that a... Is that a Triforce? It's got a Triforce. <laughs> Look at that. It's a Legend of Zelda reference. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. I don't always notice them. Alright. I think the... The new figurine is up here somewhere. Yeah, see those little... Trip wires going back and forth. Not trip wires. The yeah, it's for getting places. Look at that. So you can kind of tell what to climb if you look at the. Uh, if you look close, you look for yellow. See like these things up here. You can climb that. kind of weird. <laughs> Climbing is just a little bit autopiloty in this game. Just a bit. Figuring. I name you. Is that the Banuk naming ceremony? That which I could not do before my exile. Stignak, chieftain of my Werek, thought your blood was his, but the truth was clear as the color of the sky, painted in your eyes and mine. As I wander alone in this foreign land, it is not Signac's death that wounds me, nor the memory of of Ely, your mother, nor even the loss of snow sheathed Ban Ur, my home. But instead the silence that lay between us, who should have been father and son. I paint my mark here for you and leave you this offering, but it will never touch the warmth of your hands. Hmm. So Tech took I guess, uh, I don't know, I had an affair? No, it was, the, uh, what's her name? Where'd she go? What's her name? Ela, Ely, who cheated on her husband with Tech Took, and I guess she's dead. So is Signac. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he sounds like he got exiled, though. There's a lot of exiling in this game. <laughs> of course there is. I don't think there'd be a story without the exile. So let's continue on with our uh, our 
quest here. So we're going to go back to that campfire, and we're going to head to Meridian. If we can make it, sounds like it's going to be a treacherous journey. Let's change our quest back to City of the Sun. All right. Let's go get a mount, guys. Dude, I'm afraid that uh, bird is gonna that bird is gonna swoop down on us. <laughs> okay. We're okay. This is a little, uh, military camp. Don't let your Good to see. Any quests? Can't go in any buildings. away. Will they let me through? The land can't find its footing on these slopes. thing over your head. Why? That's kind of weird. Maybe they're going to attack them. Harja archers. Well. I like missing missing things. I feel like I'm missing something there. Okay. Sorry, fox. I just ran over a little fox. I saw some of the places. Oh, it's you. The new settlers had no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. But I knew the signs to look for. 
The scrabble and the dirt. Those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. No. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the sun of the fight. But don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. <laughs> Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. <laughs> I wonder why he wasn't at the other bandit camp. Yeah. Might as well. Make this place just a little bit safer. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, look, there's a tall neck. Got you. Got you. Anybody up there? Ah, okay. Oh, am I really? I'm out of wire. Fantastic. Maybe I should go kill some machines. Oh, maybe I'll get lucky and one of these guys has wire. Got some wire. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was getting a little worried. Kills three. That'll kind of help me out now, I guess. Yeah, why not? Let's see how much better it does. Six. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> that's definitely less than I was hoping for. At least we got enough now. I think that guy might be the boss. Don't mind me. Or a kind of boss, at least. I did nothing to attract attention. How how did that happen?
I don't understand how they're all attracted. Somebody spot me? Did I miss somebody? They're giving up. Okay. That was really weird. Climb up here. Get this guy here. See the alarm. Hope I don't hear it too. Where is the alarm? Is that a blasted corpse? Ah, uh, okay. So they can see. Move along now. The search is on. I see. Yeah. So it's a little bit more realistic because they see a corpse and it alerts them. But. Shadows are getting long. It's a little unrealistic in that. Ooh. Freaking myself out. <laughs> No, you're a, it's a little unrealistic in that they stop searching. Why would you stop searching when you found a dead body? Uh, sitting on the toilet. There's the alarm.
Hmm. That's the leader strike skill. Getting there. Looks like there's another. There, let's kill that one. I said no, Arthur, I'm gonna get the Do anything with this? Now I'm covered in explosives. There, keep this quiet. Get up here. I got the leader and a hit. Goes you and you. All right, looks like pretty much we're done. We just gotta. Got to finish killing the last couple peeps. Too close. Should have brought a cart. where they've caged up the captives. Where's that last enemy? Down this way.
Bright day. Feeling ambitious. This uh, campfire, and then we'll talk to the merchant. And continue on. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Right, moving on. We gotta talk to Nil first, though. So let's travel north. How were we supposed to refuse Duran when he said the sun demanded blood? And yet, we pay the price. Oh, I didn't get that guy's uh, supply card. Nice and bright out. A supply sample box or whatever they call it. Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. <laughs> I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently, called an investigation into war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things, under the circumstances. <sighs> Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison, south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation, as am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow, Nil. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. <laughs> never lonely where there's killing to be done. 
He's a little creepy. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. We got a little ways to go. Let's hope he doesn't, uh, see me. Oh. oh. Foggy out. Broadheads. Okay. Sandstorm. Right in my teeth. Oh, it's a sandstorm. Let's see. I do like the weather in this game. It's very nice. This game reminds me a lot of The Witcher, actually. And up. Maybe it took some inspiration from it. Actually, I'm not even sure which one actually came first. Could be The Witcher took inspiration from this. We're almost there. We are getting there. Taken from the old ones. The Is cool. Nice views. Got a waterfall there. Very cool. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. That's weird. The animals just seem to stick around instead of run from me. I'm sorry me. for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. times already at my heart shadow rope caster shadow hunter bow Shadow Trip Caster, Shadow Sharp Shot, Shadow Sling Blast, Blast Sling, rather.
Corvo does corruption. Okay. Electricity, frost, and corruption. Fish. Hunter bow will do fire. And then the sharp shot bow will do tear and damage. I'm just trying to figure out the combination of weapons I'd prefer. So there's the sling. Yeah, I suppose. Those all do weapon damage. That seems like a... Eh, I don't know. That one requires a trampler heart. get these ones. Still won't have anything that does ice, though. This does ice. The regular sling. Kind of like this one. I like... I'm not a fan of this weapon. I don't like slingshots. I like the bows. The, aste the aesthetic. Yeah, something to think about. You don't have to get it now. If I don't get my goods to buyers soon, they'll cancel the contract. What's going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so is Erend, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Oh, specialty goods. Okay. Who suffer. Good luck getting down, down, down of the murder. Hold! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, uh, not really. A little. So you're alive. This uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. <laughs> there. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh, I lost someone, too, at the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. 
<laughs> Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah. 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 True. Why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house here in Meridian. Hmm. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. Perfect weather for a walk. <laughs> Jeez. It's a little too much to drink there, Erend. Come on, buddy. And they really did not do the pathing too well <laughs> for this guy. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. One fine, better way. Is she a normal? Apparently, they're letting women into the city these days. Would you like to buy something today? Buy what you need? Leave the rest. God hide in his palace. Blood for blood. Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. Yeah. <laughs> the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. Yes, I am already doing that. The core of this road is frayed. The floor near it is warm. See what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that.
looks like a picture of Olin's family. A lot of metal here. Could be just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. <laughs> I did say not to break anything, didn't I? but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait! If that device lets you see the unseen. Yes, I'll let's solve his sister's murder. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but Come on. War, help war. him. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Is it 
place. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? Okay, okay, I see. Very cool. Desert glass processed metal block. Tons of these. Basically, it just gives me skins and bones. Plenty of that. Just a look. Don't pass up these goods. What was that? Six luminous braiding, so let's get one of these and see what the hell it is. What? That was a waste. for artifacts yes but I'm no profiteer Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk I work on their behalf looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland Ben Ur I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings if you have any I have valuables to trade for them you said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk yes I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. That's like everybody, though. <laughs> I'm sure the Banu could feel the same way about everybody else. Ready? Let's trade, then.
Well, I got that one. Ancient vessels. Metal flowers. I already got this, though. That's figures ancient. I think this one we haven't gotten. No, yeah, we have. Owned, owned, owned. Yeah, I've got all these. Okay, so basically it's just these that I'm getting. Okay. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban-Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, <laughs> his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them, if you have any. Come on back if you find any Banu goods. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? Let's see what that gets us. Hmm. Bunch of stuff. There's some quests here too. Let's see what these uh routine goods. Machine resources. Grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, could you spare a moment to speak to the fun? Check out the merchant. Really, all you 
have, it won't do at all. Rugged? All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. <laughs> so you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been... Breathtaking. <laughs> but which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Missing one. Missing one. Sterling Malkit Pharaoh okay. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do my tired eyes see? A hunter, surely. Let's Come, go get this, me, uh... Can you help me? Nora, Come take please, a look. I'll give you a good price. You. What's this? Did I get... You with the second sight, I need your help. I tell you, never have children. Spare a moment, someone robbed my house. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. 
The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. In the city, huh? Or at least the crime scenes in the city. Would you like to buy something to you? won't find better wares. Come take those wares. We'll give you a good price. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. <sighs> Couldn't imagine. Don't you saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching a sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. I've got all the best to stock up before you're on the road. Leading away. Fine goods for a bad price. Hmm, almost couldn't figure out what the hell happened with that. We're gonna do this one quest and then we will finish the video. I'm getting a little on the long side. I'm sorry guys. Still more blood. You've got cut pretty bad. Right, Trail is here. Would you like to buy something today? But someone must have seen the thief. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. These aren't goods, they're necessities. Take a look at these wares. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Last time I saw Nora was in the sun ring. But all that's all nice. Don't forget to stock up before you're on well the road. I for the new relics, Outlander. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Father Rock. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, 
Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. An elevator. Pretty advanced technology. Quests. Don't pass up these goods. And don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Better be us. Won't cost you a shard just to look.
That must be the spire. It's huge. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Take over my brother's if today. There's a sun's rise and he's off courting that noble girl. He yeah, up here. Holy moly. Jeez. Okay. Oh, useful. All right. I'm going to go back to the fire. We're going to end it here. Video is an hour and 26 minutes long. I think we're good. guys thank you for watching y'all have a good night we'll see you on the next one Meridian.